let's do this in a much more interesting way in an intuitive way we can easily visualize 2 to the power of 0 now what is the meaning of 2 to the power of 0 that's 1 so i'll start with uh, a unit cube now unit cube is nothing but length breadth and height is 1 1 1 and it look like this now multiplying this by 2 means where it will become 2 to the power of 1 i just need to add one more on top it's it's actually a row now now if i multiply this by 2 again so it will become 4 or 2 square and i just need to make this a square like this i need to add one more row here so you can see a square of unit cubes here four of them in fact now if i multiply this by 2 again it will become 8 or 2 cube so i can just convert the diagram by converting this into a cube like this and in here you will see eight unit cubes now this is a cube of unit cubes now up to this is easy to visualize right now beyond this since four dimensional dimensional things we cannot visualize we'll have to look at some innovative ways so as you can see here it's, it's very simple right we started with one and then it's two then it's a square it will become four then it's a cube of cubes it will become eight now if you think further we are looking at these are this is a two cube cube i'll write it as a two cube cube because there are a we reached up to two cube now and that, or in other words there are eight unit cubes uh, as you can see here take this as a single block now and then start from this so we are looking at a two cube cube let me call it two cube cube start with a single one so we are already at eight now if i multiply what is the meaning of multiplying by two it will become a row of two cube cubes just like the previous one right previously it was we started with a unit block then let's let me show all of them here a unit block then it's a, a row of uh, unit cubes then it's a square of unit cubes then it's a cube of unit cubes now exactly like this now if i multiply two cube into two it will become a row of uh, two cube uh, unit cubes like this now again if i multiply by two where it's become two raised to five it will become a square of two cube cubes see the previous one is uh, a row of two cube cubes now it's a square of two cube cubes which is two raised to five two to the power of five this is the best way to visualize two to the power of five I, i'm sure you've seen only visualization up to two cube before now we just visualize 2 to the power of 4. What is 2 to the power of 4? A row of 2 cube cubes like this. Like this. Now, where we are placing one uh, 2 cube block and another 2 cube block on top of that. Then, then I'll convert it into a square of 2 cube cubes, which is like one more row here. So that's like 2 cube into 2 square or 2 raised to 5. Now, if I multiply by 2 again, where I need to visualize 2 to the power of 6, I just need to convert this by adding one more layer, where it will become a cube of 2 cube cubes. A cube of 2 cube cubes, which is nothing but 2 cube into 2 cube or 2 to the power of 6. An interesting visualization, right? Now, if you want to continue further, what you need to do is, what you got finally here, which is a cube of 2 cube cubes or 2 raised to 6, you will take it as a single unit and you will do it like this. The next one, 2 to the power of 7 will be a row of 2 to the power 6 cubes. Then a square of 2 to the power 6 cubes. That will be like 2 square into 2 raised to 6, which is 2 to the power of 8. And then a cube of 2 to the power 6 cubes, which can represent 2 raised to 6, 9 like this. So complete visualization like you have not seen before, but this will help you to clearly understand the meaning beyond cubes to the fourth power to the fifth power to the sixth power like that so we under we started from two to the power of zero up to two to the power of even nine we just visualized now let's go the other way around when i say other way around this is all multiplication many times now division many times starting from the first one which is two to the power of zero or one unit cube should result in as discussed should result in negative exponents right so wish to visualizing negative exponents or for understanding negative exponents which otherwise we never understand it's just a matter of doing it the other way around where division by two again and again and again so if i start with a unit cube now this means two to the power of zero 
division in common language is basically take a unit cube and cut into half so that is being the equivalent of 2 to the power of minus 1 so cut in cutting once or division once dividing by 2 once will look like this uh, where the unit cube is exactly into half that is 2 to the power of minus 1 now if I have one more cut where it will become 1 fourth of the unit cube that is 1 by 4 is 2 to the power of minus 2 this way you can understand 2 to the power of minus 2 again if you cut into half it will become 1 by 8 of the unit cube so that that is something but nothing but 2 to the power of minus 3 so this is how you can intuitively understand the negative exponents in the same visualization I hope you know much more about exponents positive as well as negative just because of this visualization.